Now, this one is important. Follow me closely, everyone. Uh, those that are J2, did your lecture tell you this is important? So if you ask me how important is this, this is how big I put the star for you. Got it? It's a confirmed question. Just how many marks on? The reaction is called triiodomethane formation, also known as iodoform reaction, which is basically this thing that is formed, comes from the methane backbone, the hydrogen, has been replaced by iodine, three iodine, that's why it's called triiodo. Everyone okay? I'm telling you all this so that it's easy for you to remember. It has a common name, it's called iodo form. Okay? Now, before we do anything, I want to let you know this equation you'll be asked to balance and write for one mark. So without further ado, I'm going to give you the four, or rather 7D number. It's called 1461155. Please copy this down. 1461155, as I mentioned. Because you can't go to the exam hall and start to balance it. When people try to finish it, you're still balancing after five minutes. Because it's not easy to balance. And then uh, what you see in this reaction is obviously formation of this, which is yellow crystals, yellow solid, all right, when you form upon cooling. What you need to do reagent-wise is add aqueous iodine, I bring in two parts with sodium hydroxide, and you need to warm it, which I'll come back and talk about it in a short while. So all in all, how come this reaction occur? Follow me very closely, is due to this. Now, it requires a, an alcohol, not all alcohol can do this, right? It requires an alcohol to have what we call a methyl group, the methyl group in orange, right? The methyl group here, with a hydrogen atom here attached to the hydroxy containing carbon. Still that carbon, can you see? Still that carbon that holds the OH. This is the concept of alcohol. So what it does, if you look at it, is it chops this off in pink color. All right, it chopped this off. Oh, in pink. Where's my pink? It chopped this off in this reaction. Okay, it chopped this off. And if you look at it again, go back to the equation. This is where it chopped off. All right. So this group has become this group. Follow me closely. Yeah. Okay. It has become this group. Then it's easier for you to memorize. Then I go back to the region and it should make sense to you. Ready? Take a look. Equals iodine. Where do we use it? Let me use a different color. Sip purple. Do you see it's here? So I know there's an I2 as a reagent, reactant. And also sodium hydroxide use what? OH. So therefore, this is the third reagent. Everyone, make sense to you? Can you see? I have a strategy to memorize on because I don't like to memorize things. Then what happened is this group, whatever color I use, the yellow color, right? This group has become here. Can you see? In a way, after some rearrangement. Okay? Now, all in all, you take a look again. Do you realize the hydrogen here has disappeared? Yes, take a look. The hydrogen here disappeared. Where is it? It has become here combined with other OH minus that you never use, the light blue. And take a look. The purple color iodine, you now haven't used. Where is it? It's used to form the iodine form. Make sense? Which you need only three. Then where's the rest? The rest will be out as an ion. Understand? And then you apply your 1461155. This equation, I believe you can write it out within 10 to 20 seconds and balance on the whole. Everyone okay? Oh, find a way to balance. This is my way, which I introduced to you, which is which makes sense, I think. Yes? All right. Next, I want to mention that this, when you chop this off, right, you, you don't get a molecule. You get what we call a carboxylate ion. You might want to write this down. You get a carboxylate ion. Now, the equation I just showed you is an ionic equation. Make sense? If they want a balanced chemical equation, then you need to use the counter ion. So over here, anything that is negative charge, you then add in the counter ion. Everyone okay? So this side also, you will be then RCOO minus Na plus, and here is NAI. And then you're able to balance it using 1461155 one, 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 five, five, once again. Everyone okay? Okay? All right. Because besides sodium, I can also use potassium. So it becomes K. All right? Both are strong alkaline. Nothing wrong. Huh? So you need to warm, and then this reaction will occur. 1461155. One, one, five, five. Okay, follow me closely. Uh, just now R, C, H, C, H, 3, right? All these notes are very important, right? So we say anything that has this group, yes, it will go, uh, will undergo triodomethane test, correct? That's what we say. So here you go, this group. So you look at it, if R can be hydrogen or hydro, uh, H atom or hydrocarbon, either alcohol or phenol. So this group, nobody can, make sense? It can be anything, all right? It will definitely be able to chop off this part, all right? You will be able to chop off this part, no issue. Now, if R is hydrogen atom, if there is hydrogen atom, 
Then the alcohol is ethanol, which is the only primary alcohol that will respond to the iodoform reaction. If you take a look, let's look at it. If this is uh, a H, isn't this ethanol? Yes, which is a primary alcohol. And it's the only one that has that yellow color group versus another primary alcohol. Who? Let's say propanol. This propanol, right? Okay. You look at it, it doesn't have that group that you want, which is the CH3. Make sense? It doesn't have the yellow color group. Yes, make sense? Heating, it doesn't have, if you look at me, it doesn't have this one. Wrong color. It doesn't have this one. Right? It's not here. Make sense? All right. So this one, be careful. They love to test. MCQs. Next. If R is a hydrocarbon, alcohol is therefore secondary. So you change it to CH3, it becomes a secondary alcohol. All right? Now, which can undergo uh, uh, this particular reaction if you have the yellow color groups there. Yes? No tertiary alcohol can contain such a group that you want because there's always a hydrogen here. Correct? So there's no way you have tertiary alcohol. All right, therefore, uh, tertiary alcohol cannot undergo this reaction. Now, if you look at this reaction called iodoform reaction, it's actually a method of breaking a CC bond, correct? We break here, remember? You break away the CH3, right? And basically, you remove the CH3 group. It's as good as it's a method of shortening a chain by a single carbon. It's a step down reaction. Remember, in the previous organic chem topic, we talked about step up, Rx topic. And I told you, you will also be able to step down. I tell you, you have one step up, two step down reaction. This is the first step down reaction. It's in this topic called hydroxy compound of alcohols. Okay, so take a look. This alcohol, four carbon. After you apply your triodomethin test, the carboxylic ion has only three carbon. You step it down by one. Those that have learned the previous, uh, the next topic in your school, carbonyl compounds, which is our next one, is the second step down reaction. If you would like to catch my latest videos, click on subscribe button right now. And click on the bell if you want to receive instant notifications once I've uploaded my latest video. If you'd like to join my live chemistry classes and revision workshops, go on to winnerseducation.com and find out how you can score distinction for chemistry on a consistent basis, either in our center or online via Zoom. If you want to check out my online school, go on to passwithdistinction.teachable.com you'll be able to learn chemistry concepts at your own pace and anywhere in the world, topic by topic. This is Sean Chua from Winners Education to your distinction in chemistry.